Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. So how does a weekend retreat with family and friends turn into a business showcasing some of the best food and wine the Bay Area has to offer? Well, chef, teacher, and owner of West Marin Food and Farm Tours, Elizabeth Hill, is here to tell us about this incredible story. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you again. It's great to see you too. So I have to say, I've been on your tour, absolutely loved it, want to go on it again. So here we are. We're going to talk about it. Sounds good. Let's first talk about how this all came to be. I mean, really, it was a weekend retreat with your friends, right? It was. I was in culinary school. So I had, before this, I was a teacher, a school teacher, before that, a baker. And I was looking for a way to combine food and education. And so I went to culinary school, and I invited all my culinary school friends to Inverness, where we had a family cabin. And I took them cheese tasting and oyster tasting and wine <laughs> tasting, and they decided I needed to start a business. So. And you did. And I did. That was five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. And you offer, you offer these tours. Tell us about the different kind of tours you offer. So the most popular one is called the Flavors of West Marin, and we visit seven different local food producers, and we do tours and tastings at each place. And so we learn about um, wine making and cheese making and oyster farming and vegetable farming and bread baking there and the oysters. Yeah. <laughs> now on this tour I do have to say you know you knew I didn't eat seafood but I tried oysters for the first time. Mm -hmm. You really made me want to try the yeah, oysters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great. the place. I mean, that's the place to do it because they really are the freshest, cleanest, best tasting oysters. So, um, yeah. I'm what proud of you. what I think <laughs> is great about your tour is you're talking. I mean, obviously, it's great food, and but you're you're telling us the history of this area that not a lot of people know. It's true. It's a really remarkable area. I mean, it's the very first farming center of California, so there's a lot of rich history. And it's all still family farms, which is amazing. And it's, a, it's this really incredible success story about how farmland has been saved and wilderness areas have been saved. And so it's this beautiful example of how wilderness and farming can coexist. And, I mean, we just... I have all this amazing, beautiful food, too. You do. Tell us <laughs> about some of this. Well. Yeah, you brought some really good, I mean, the smell. I mean, we had smell vision because yeah. it smells so good. Yeah. So there's an incredible bounty in West Marin. Um, of course, there's the Cowgirl Creamery, which is quite famous, Hog Island Oyster Company. Yes. <laughs> uh, McAvoy Olive Oil. I brought some uh, lovely apple cider. Oh, which can is, we have some? Of course. Okay. Yes. Cheers. And this is locally grown? <laughs> yes, in Tamales. Yes. <laughs> All right, cheers. It's mm. just apple cider. Oh, yes. <laughs> but delicious. it's really good. Yeah, it is delicious. Um, so, yeah, lots of cheese and um, wine, oysters, lots of grass-fed meat, um, some really unique honey wine. Which you got the um, the treat of trying. I did. Um, I ended up buying a couple bottles. Yeah, yeah, it's good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what do you have a favorite tour? Well, I do have a, a certain weakness for the cheese lovers tour because we get to see all the baby animals. Oh. So we visit um, three different creameries and we get to see baby goats and baby lambs, baby water buffalo, uh, which is pretty incredible, and the little Jersey cows. So I am an animal lover, so that's definitely one of my favorites. I could see why that could be your favorite yeah. tour. What yeah. is the best thing about your tour that you want people out there to know? Oh, just, um, again, just the incredible stories and really people walk away with this incredible appreciation of how much work goes into food production. And um, so I really love seeing that people's, you know, the light bulbs going off. Wow, I never knew I, you know, how much work it takes. And I really, you know, they, they come away with an appreciation for family farmers and artisan food production and what it really takes to, to farm sustainably. Sure. And um, so that, for me, the education is really one of my favorite parts. What I love about it is you pushing the local businesses, and these are all family-run businesses that have been around for a very long time. Yeah, and I mean, they love the land, they love their animals, they love the community, and it's it's just such an inspiring place to be and just, you know, just to spread that message and to really make people aware of you know, where their food comes from and how important their food choices are to sustainability and to the health of the planet. And so... And West Marin yeah. really is a special place it when it is. comes to that, it's isn't magical. it? It's magical. Yeah, it really is. 
wonderful. Well, why do you think that is? Well, I think, you know, the there are families there. I have friends that are sixth generation ranchers there. So there's this incredible dedication to the land. And so um, people are very invested in preserving the land and preserving what they love. And they're looking at another six generations out. So it's a very different mentality than, you know, a typical corporation uh, farm or um, company. And so there's this, you know, incredible commitment to the community and to the earth and to, you know, and, sustainability. And how can our viewers support them, support these family farms? So farmers markets are huge. Really, that is the lifeline of family farmers. And so getting to know where your food comes from, getting to know the farmers at the farmers market and, you know, coming to see their farm and to, su you know, to support them and to learn more and to, um, yeah spread the message. Well, I think you have a very unique business here and it's so much fun. <laughs> you are the best tour guide ever. And Thank there we you. were. Look at this group of friends. Oh, were we a little too rowdy or no? No, it was such a blast. We were okay? Such a blast. Oh, All that's right. great. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> and I'm so glad and hopefully we'll take a tour with you very soon. I would love that. Again, thanks yep. so much for coming on the show. Thank to you book for your having trip. me. I promise you won't be disappointed. <laughs> you can sample wine, cheese, and much more. Just log on to Food and Farm Tours Dot com. Again, that's foodandfarmtours.com. That's it for our show this week, but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.